this. We gather this morning to remember as I was meditating and preparing my heart this morning, I was thinking back to last week's sermon where we, we helpfully thought through we can have the right theology, yet our hearts at times can be far from that. We've been thinking through Jonah, we've been thinking through a man who, whose theology is solid, and yet at times his heart needs a readjustment, needs a realignment. And that's what the Lord's table does for us. The Lord's table brings us to a point where we come and we remember. The Lord commands us to do so in remembrance of him. Not for the sake of a ceremony, not for the sake of just something that we do as a formality, but knowing our hearts, we need a remembrance. Let me remind us of a few things this morning as we prepare our hearts. Jonah tells us, and this is why we see that, I knew that you are a gracious and a compassionate God. It's the first thing that we need to remember this morning. As we come to this table, we need to remember the compassion and the graciousness of our Lord. As we celebrate the Lord's table, it's a reminder of all that he has borne on our behalf. This is a table where we come as believers in Christ, for those who place their faith and trust in him, who have accepted that, that compassion, that graciousness from God's hand. That's a reminder that we see. We also see that he's slow to anger and abounding in love. If you're anything like me, when you come to the Lord's table, usually your mind turns to the way that your life has gone recently. How have you been living? What are the ways that you've fallen short? And sometimes we can come to this table with a sense of, of shame. We can come to this table thinking, Lord, I've forgotten you so many times this week. Like the disciples, I've betrayed your name when it's come down to it. This table is an invitation to come back and to acknowledge all the Lord has done, acknowledge his graciousness to us, acknowledge that he is abounding in love, remember what he has done on our behalf, and in doing so, we commit ourselves to trusting and following in him. And we finally see that the, he's a God that relents from sending calamity. We see the mercy and the kindness and graciousness of God. We celebrate and remember this morning that as we remember the body and the blood of Christ, we remember what he has borne on our behalf. We remember that he himself took the punishment that was rightly ours so that we now can rest in his mercy. We have to accept him as our Lord and Savior. We have to put our faith and trust in him in order to receive that grace and mercy into our lives. So if you're here today and you're not a believer, I pray that this will be a time where you reflect on that. If you haven't placed your faith and trust in Christ, I pray that this will be an opportunity as you let the elements pass you by, that you reflect on what it means to receive that mercy and grace. Indeed, God has shown his mercy and kindness to us through this. If you're here today as a believer, I pray that you would partake in the Lord's Supper as a reminder of all he has done for you, and that you would rejoice in that this morning. That it would be a restoration of your heart where we line our hearts up with our theology, and we once again recommit to trusting him, following him. We confess our failings to him, and we fix our eyes on him. So I'll ask the ushers to come now as we're served and as we contemplate and prepare to protect in this.
sir. We gather in remembrance and we gather because of the blood of the Lamb. Apostle Paul, writing to Corinthians, tells them this, For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. The Lord Jesus, on the night he was betrayed, took bread, and when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's eat in remembrance of the body of Christ. He goes on to say in the same way, after supper he took the cup, saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it. In remembrance of me, wherever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. The strength of remembrance of blood shed for us. Lord, indeed, precious is the flow that makes us white as snow. Father, we come this morning in full acknowledgement. There's nothing that we bring, nothing that we come to offer that in any way makes us righteous. Lord, our righteousness before you is as filthy rags, but when we come clothed in your righteousness, Father, we approach your throne of grace with confidence and fine mercy. So we thank you for the blood and body of Christ. Be with us now as we continue in our worship, as we continue to meditate on all that you have done for us and what this table represents. Create in us clean hearts, O oh Lord, we pray, and renew right spirits with us. These things we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you. 